I have one patient who is a hockey player, um, was professional in his younger years and, and now isn't, but, but still plays, you know, three times a week up here, so he's quite a great athlete. And he really didn't understand why his mid-thoracic spine was constantly being irritated and why it constantly needed to be adjusted or manipulated, which would give him great relief but wouldn't last very long. And if you looked at him, you know, he, he was very kyphotic, very curled over in that area, just standing. So, you know, I mean, I used to start with just abdominal stretching with him years ago and putting him into, you know, t teaching him how to, you know, do back arches and, and a bit more control. But still, because he was using his muscles in sport the way he was, he was never getting better. I got this machine and I said, okay, I really want to have a look and see what's going on at the structure of your abdominal wall. So we came in and, and did the assessment and lo and behold, he had a large diastasis and um, I was like, well, you know, when did you injure this? When, what happened? And he didn't remember and then he said, when I was a baby, I had to have a surgery with regards to some sort of hernia that happened here. It's a big aha for both of us that all these years he's had all this trouble, he's been manipulated, he's tried strengthening, it hasn't worked, and it hasn't worked because he didn't get, he didn't have the right muscles firing. His internal and external obliques were, were over firing. We had a look at the ratio. Um, so you can see on the ultrasound, you can see the ratio of the internal oblique to the external oblique to the transversus at that region. And so when we put him under load, his internal oblique just filled the screen. Like it just, it tripled in size and pushed the transversus away at that level. It was actually buckling instead of tensioning. So we had to work with him to, for him to get the feeling of how to, to tension that rather than to let it buckle. So we actually had to really get him to relax his, his obliques, we had to dis disable them a little bit by actually doing some manual, you know, holding the rib cage back and not letting him do that. And it took a long time because all these years, that's his power stance, that's what he feels is his core when it wasn't. We do a Pilates style sort of retraining program for the core after you get the, the idea. And, it, and you start off very, very slow and very controlled and very thoughtful. And um, and the, you can use Pilates, you can use Corex, you can use TRX. There's so many different forms of, of getting your core stronger, but you have to have the core engaged. So he was really, really willing to do that. And it took a lot of training, but he was very diligent because he saw it on the screen. And I've known him for 15 years, I've worked on him, and finally, finally the answer. So that was really great. Depending on the, the time of year, we see a lot of skiing, snowboarding related injuries. Um, in the summertime, it's really busy with mountain bike injuries because uh, the Sir Black Hole Mountain Bike Park is pretty popular. We have a lot of baseball injuries, and now road biking is becoming very popular, so there's injuries related to that. It's a very, very busy.